Welcome back to wagertalk.com. We're going to take a look at an SEC matchup with uh, Golden Nugget Games of the Year. Arkansas at Alabama. Alabama, we know, Brian, every year. They're the perennial, the powerhouse, the team to beat. Arkansas showed a lot of improvement last year. Um, actually gave Alabama a big scare last year. It was a sweet spot for Alabama or for Arkansas when they caught Alabama last year coming off a big game. But 14-13 uh, final score, does you, that bother you a little bit worrying about uh, Alabama since they had a close scare against this one that they don't take them for granted? Two different ways to look at it. Saban's going to say, hey, we almost lost to this team. But Arkansas is going to look at it and said, hey, we did lose to this team and we should have won that game. So it's two different ways to look at it. I basically went in, my number on Arkansas was higher, my number on Alabama was lower. I was getting over the key number of seven, seven and a half here with Arkansas, and I, and I took it. I, I explained earlier how I'm not as high on Alabama this mm -hmm. year, and uh, I'm looking for the value, and I thought there was some value over a touchdown. Um, playing devil's advocate, as I like to do with you, um, one of the things I'll point out on this one, um, and it's, it's an angle I want to ask you, Preston, if it, if it means anything to you in sure. your handicapping. Uh, do you look at homecoming games? Uh, do you look at them any differently than a, than a regular home game? I actually don't. I don't even mess with it. Don't bother. I don't know. I haven't actually done like back tested it. Maybe there is some trend there, but personally, I just don't think there's enough there. Unless maybe there's some significant homecoming reason. You know, maybe there's like a personal, like like a death, and I don't know. There might be some things that can be more. Uh, than just you know a homecoming party thing and some you know as far as uh, they're partying all the time anyway. conspiracy theorists like to used to say that a coach if, if, if you have a coach that likes to run up the score or looks uh, at okay. you yeah. know with the alumni that you like to get that cover if you can't you know if it's <laughs> late in the game and they're hovering around the number you know some coaches they're not worried about that and it's homecoming they want to get as many people into the game as they can where a guy that wants to satisfy the booster sometimes will punch that, make sure he punches that last one in to get the to get the cover and send everybody home happy. Well, in the olden days, like back when you had hair. Oh, uh, nice <laughs> one. Okay, I get to get you back from earlier. But um, <laughs> in those days, they always scheduled a cupcake on these yeah. days, these yeah. games. That's your homecoming game. You're, you're scheduling your your Mac schools and your Sun Belt schools. That's not the case anymore. Every, every game is important, and uh, obviously, if you're the coach, you, you can always come back and say, if you're the coach, say, hey, they scheduled us on homecoming day. They don't think much of us. So, you know, it's a different ways to look at everything. And as you mentioned, historical stuff, I've never seen anything that yeah. I had any credence for in, in homecoming games. Since I picked on you with uh, playing devil's advocate with things against Alabama, the one thing you do, uh, Alabama is coming off two big games the week before and the week after with this one. Not that Arkansas is not a big game, but it's going to be a tough three-game stretch. Georgia, Arkansas, Texas A&M, you know, for, uh, for Alabama. So maybe beat them up a little bit uh, and help you with the Arkansas plus seven. Could, could this eventually become a Marco D'Angelo hoagie game? It could become a sandwich game. But if Arkansas lives up to some of the people's expectations of being a darling and comes into here with a nice record, then they're not the, sa they're no, they're not the sandwich spot. They're going to have Alabama's attention, especially after the one-point game last year. So that's why we do in-game, in-season situation stuff. <laughs> there you go. But it could be a potential uh, sandwich spot. All right, Brian says go ahead and grab Arkansas take that seven and a half against Alabama and we're going to come back and take a look uh, Preston's going to have a pick for you Florida and Missouri we keep coming up with these SEC games must be the best conference in football must be a <laughs> uh, little tongue-in-cheek there uh, we'll be right back wagertalk.com